I'm coming back into training after about three months off of no training, so no lifting and no throwing. Um, starting in June, I had um, my, my work schedule got pretty crazy, and so I've been working pretty hard all summer, and uh, now things are in a spot where I'm able to train again, make content again, and so I kind of want to show you that. Kind of what I want you to get from today's video is that you can get back into shape. Um, you, you don't have to jump in full go 100%. Now, of course, all this depends on how much time you have and how much time you can spend on recovery. But if you're like me, um, I have to inch my way back into hard training. I can't just jump in full go. I, I just, my body couldn't handle that. So right now, I am doing two workouts a week. <clears throat> so one workout is lower body and one workout is upper body. Now here, here's what I want. You may be like, well, how can you get stronger only lifting each, each body part, each group once a week? Now, I, I promise you, and I've done this before, I've, I've restarted training more times than I'd want to tell you. But the, the point is, if you work out hard once a week, you can get a lot done. Now, would I prefer to work out five times a week? Yeah, probably, but that's not my situation right now. I, I can't worry about what I can't do, but I can dedicate two hard workouts a week, and um, I promise in those two workouts, I can see all the results I need to. And especially if we think uh, long-term. So I'm training now for next season, which would be next summer, next spring, next summer. I have all kinds of time to get strong. What's important for me is to get strong, get back into throwing shape without creating an injury. I've done it before where I, I jump into training and I lift too much too soon and my knees just wear out. Um, I develop tendonitis, uh, shoulders, elbows, knees, hips, you name it. Um, and so if we step into hard training carefully, then uh, we can preserve ourselves and continue to reach after the goals we're going for. For me, I'm trying to throw as far as I can given my circumstances. And so for, for this month, September, uh, for, for four weeks, I am shooting to hit one lower body workout and one upper body workout a week. Um, so I'll kind of pan now to a shot that shows my workout, but I have it over here on the board. Uh, for my lower body workout, I'm doing what I call the hip routine which is just three exercises uh, to help warm up my hips and glutes and, and groin. Um, then I'm doing, I'm doing front squats, good mornings, um, some planks, some th uh, three position planks for my core, and then some very specific stretches that cover my lower body. And on my upper body day, I do a shoulder routine, just like my hip routine, just for the shoulders, kind of gets everything going. Um, bench press, lat pull downs, tricep extensions, weighted sit ups, and then stretching again. And uh, uh, for my hip routines and stretching, I'm doing one set of 20. And then, and then for my main lifts, I'm doing three sets of eight. And what I'll do from week to week, um, <clears throat> so this, was week, this is week one. Uh, week two, I'm going to try to do more weight than I did in week one and going up all through the week. Now my goal when I'm lifting, I need to feel the burn, uh, I need to feel tired, I need to get sweaty, it needs to be a little bit hard, but it doesn't and it shouldn't be max effort. I'm not prepared for that yet. But if through September I lift um, twice a week and build a little bit, when I come to October's training, I will be able to add in um, one or two more lifts per week and be perfectly prepared for it and be ready for it. Um, so that's what I'm doing. September's training is to prepare me for October's training. And then October's training will prepare me for November's training. And then the goal is through the heavy winter months, so like December through February, here where I live, um, to do the most intense, um, heaviest weight training to build strength in that time. Uh, currently, right now, the way it works in my schedule is uh, my alarm goes off about 5.45 in the morning. Uh, I have some quiet time, drink my coffee, and I try to hit the gym by 7 in the morning. Now, I have a little bit of a luxury. This gym here is my garage, so I can just go from my living room 
to my garage and get that workout in. Um, this workout I just showed you, three sets of eight, um, each day takes about 35 to 45 minutes depending on how long I'm taking. Usually get some music going and it's a pretty nice time. My wife and I work out together. Um, so so that, that's kind of what I'm doing for September. That's how I'm getting back into heavy training. It's very simple. It's basic movements, but very, very effective. Now, when it comes to the throwing side, I am right now throwing once a week, twice, I guess, if I can, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, I know what to do for training, for throwing. I know how to throw. Of course, the trick is doing it right. Um, but right now, I need to focus on my physical shape. For me, if I'm honest with you, I want to throw the discus far, as far as I can, 200 feet at my age. And the only way to do that is to be in great physical shape, to squat a lot, to bench a lot, to clean a lot, um, respective to my own, my own capabilities. Um, in the past five years, different years of training, I'd spend more time on the technical side and less on the lifting side. And I think at, at those times that was fine. Um, but I really had a hard time getting past 180, 185 feet in the discus, like 55, 56 meters, because I just wasn't strong enough. Where I'm at now, technically, I believe <clears throat> in just a few months' time, I can be technically sound in the discus. But it takes much longer to be super strong, um, especially to do it at the rate that I need to do that. So that's just kind of a quick uh, view of what I'm doing, kind of why I'm doing it. Um, you're going to see me in here twice a week this month. Um, I'm going to try to get in at least one day of throwing, and then we're going to move forward. So if, uh, if you have any questions about training, be sure to comment below. Um, or if you're subscribed to my email newsletter, just hit reply to one of my newsletters. Um, and then one last thing is, if you haven't already seen it, I have a uh, discus and shot put online course. It is the most complete training I've ever put together. And I'd really like for you to check it out. The link to check out my course is in the description of this video. 250 bucks, you get complete access to it for two years. It's worth checking out. Anyways, keep, keep going on your training, good work, and I'll see you on the next video.